let's take a look at a, a soft latching switch. I've got a project and I want to be able to turn it on and off with the press of one button, press on and press off. So I've got two circuits to, uh, to try and this one here is made up with a couple knot gates or inverted buffer gates. Now uh, uh, inverting hex buffer is a NTE N uh, 4049. I didn't have one of those so I'm using a Schmidt trigger inverter. Uh, same thing, this has a little hysteresis in it. So um, a knot gate is an inverted buffer gate and a buffer now normally we'll use a buffer if you have a weak signal and you need to source or sync more current then you can run it through a buffer and get more current out of it uh, and if you don't have a, a, a buffer and you want to use an inverted buffer you can use two two inverted buffers to make up one buffer and so here's the truth table for that so here it is here if you put a one here or this is high this is going to be low if this is low this is going to be high here so it's going to go uh, straight through for the buffer now I'm using it in fact you can use any uh, inverted gate uh, pretty much for a um, press on press off switch a latching switch so here I'm using the two Schmidt triggers and I have a uh, LED out here this got a, a 330 ohm resistor here this is happens to be 10k and this is uh, I don't know two two microfarad capacitor so when you first turn this on this is going to be low here so if that's low this is going to be high out here so this light's going to come on when you first turn it on and uh, to turn it on we're going to have five, five volts here we're going to have five volts over here and if we press the button we'll put five volts on to between two and three here this goes high that's going to go low the light will go off to turn it back on if we depress the button again this capacitor is charged up we'll put five volts back on one we have this is going to be high this is going to be low and that's going to make this high again and turn it back on again so we'll be able to press on and, and uh, press off now this one here is a press on and hold off switch so you press it on and then you there's a time delay you have to hold it for a certain amount of time to turn it off so I think this is one I'm going to use I think it's uh, a little safer this way so this one is done with an AND gate uh, a not AND gate okay it's a CD uh, 4011 and uh, these the truth table here for the NAND gate is is over here so now when we first turn this on this this output is going to be off it's going to be low and so that means that uh, this side is going to be low over here when this is low here when any one of these are low this is going to be high out here and if this is high here this is going to be high here and if they're both high this is going to be low out here so this is going to be high and it's going to be high when it and uh, this this unit is going to be off okay so to turn it on we just want to take this uh, this side low and we're just going to discharge that through this uh, switch here and that's going to bring this pin 5 low that's going to turn this this on uh, going to go high here and then we're going to go high over here and that's going to latch it in and the same thing when we we press it again now there's a uh, time delay in here to, to hold off and you can change the values of the capacitors for your time delay and uh, it'll bring it back to the original state when you press this button here to to uh, turn it off again so we'll press on and then then just uh, hold it hold it for a while to turn it off now I've got a made up over here and we'll, we'll give it a try now when I turn it on this one should come on and it does and I got five volts on it now this is our uh, uh, not gate or uh, Schmidt trigger here this one here and so if I Turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. So that works fine. This one here is a, uh, turn that off. This one here is my uh, NAND gate here. And uh, if I turn it on, now to, to, in order to turn it off, I have to hold it. And it goes off. So turn it on and then turn it off. So that works good. And now this will actually debounce the uh, the switch too. So, in fact, I'll leave a link to uh, uh, a video I did on how to debounce uh, switches. So this will this will debounce it for you, and uh, actually, uh, then to turn it off, you have to hold it. So I think that's going to work out fine for for what I want to do, and uh, it's a very pretty simple design, and that's what we're gonna we're gonna go with. So. Uh, 
I'll have a link to this uh, notes here in in the description and a and a link to the other uh, to the uh, uh, how to debounce uh, switch. So that's uh, that's it. That's a soft latching switch. Uh, thank you.